Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Does the Ultra Hard Challenge. I know we just did the Pokemans challenge. Oh, we should do a greedier mode run. Oh, we should do a alt path kill. Nah, I'm in the zone and although statistically it makes no difference. There's your seed. 1 HGG, hilarious. FLM 0. Statistically it makes no difference um, in the likelihood of us actually getting... <sighs> A good run or a trash run. Um, the fact that our last Pokemans run was two trash runs rolled into one somehow grants me some baseless, needless, and unlikely to manifest itself as real extra confidence here. So I'm just gonna hope, you know, our first deal with the devil is probably fucked. Good space bar item. That's all we need right here. We got battery charges, BBF. That's not that. Bad, but it's also not that good. If you need a refresher about Ultra Hard, it's basically a really balanced challenge that's fun for the whole family. Um, you can never see your map. Red Hearts and Spirit Hearts do not exist. Um, you get every curse, every floor, every, you know, every kiss begins with K, every curse begins with F U C K, if you know what I mean. Fuck the Curse of the Maze, fuck Curse of the Lost, fuck Curse of the Blind, especially fuck Curse of the Unknown. Curse of the Labyrinth, you know what? I'm actually okay with that one. Not every curse begins with F-U-C-K. Scapular. Um, let me guess. Scapular is useless because of the fact that we can't get spirit hearts. So, but there's been so many like train wreck worthy runs lately. No deal with the devil. To be honest, did we deserve one? I feel like yes. We got hit in a situation that was kind of bullshit, but in the end, we got hit. I can't deny that. Uh, DPS is really bad, but our damage stat is not as bad as, uh, as it was on our last run when we fought Isaac. So maybe, you know, simple victories, or small victories, I should say. Uh, rooms where we can actually hide and the enemies are not that potent are, are totally fine by me. A curse room is just a cruel joke on a run like this. Unlimited bombs. We have to. We have to try to cheese things. With unlimited bombs, this might be our window. So you find, you know, a secret room. On the secret room, absolutely, you uh, blow this guy up. And that's taking us to the point where we might be able to get something worthwhile from our shop now. You definitely... Oh, hey, Tomo. Definitely place a bomb on every available orifice here. You may, you may exit the dungeon, Tomo. All right. Um, that way we can maybe save a key and get into a, a special room. Doesn't seem like that's too likely, but this is very important. DPS, please God, I beg you. Mom's knife. <laughs> Odd mushroom. It's it's okay. It's not bad. Our DPS is now horrible. Uh, not our DPS, sorry. Our damage stat is now horrible, but our tier stat has risen proportionally, and there goes our deal with the devil chance. That's not Odd Mushroom's fault. That, that probably would have happened on that room regardless. Um... Still, I stand by Skinny Odd Mushroom most of the time being a good pickup. And I think even here, it might be a good pickup. Dude, we're going to feel the burn next floor. With no unlimited bombs, we are going to feel the fucking burn. So we still have... Oh my god, where am I? Might as well go to... The, no, you know what? We can't go to the Cursed Room. Don't let yourself get in that false sense of security. Might as well go to the Cursed Room. Why? There's no Spirit Hearts available on the Cursed Room. You're going to get yourself killed. In the, in the secret room. That's our secret room again. Although Curse of the Lost just makes it all sorts of fucky. Please. I'm begging you. I can't... I don't have... Oh, God, no! <laughs> I did, sorry, Ruka. I didn't mean to yell there. Um, I don't have the speed necessary to push in the bomb... I mean, I, yes, that's me being an idiot, right? But at the same time, I don't have the speed necessary to push in the bomb to a, a state where it can actually, uh, where it can actually knock that chest out for us. Please, I'm begging you. Yo, listen, so this is going to be exquisite at, yeah, oh, there you go. There's a tinted rock over there. Who would have thought? It's not like I noticed that, but can't get to it. And also it contains nothing. Here it is, the ultra hard challenge. 
You complained that Isaac was too easy. Now you'll get it in the end. Here it is, the most bullshit of all the challenges. Ruka, I'm sorry. I know you're trying to sleep. Let me offer up a prospective solution for you. Maybe you could sleep outside of my office um, the way Tomo is doing right now. Why don't you go to the shop and buy some red hearts? Why don't you smarten up, person that I just made up in my head right now, and recognize that there are no red hearts. We're through the fucking looking glass. We don't have red hearts anymore. Are you kidding me? What we do? Oh, yo. The tears down did nothing. Mercifully, the tears down did nothing. Why? I have no idea. By what divine grace have we been saved today? I honestly do not know. Um, maybe because of skinny odd mushroom, it affects tier multiplier or something, a phrase I've never even uttered. Um, but you know what's a sign of a bad challenge? That when I tweet about how bad it is, people go, Oh yeah, I just held R until my first item room had, uh, mom's knife in it. That's not good. I mean, it's good on you for beating the challenge, don't get me wrong. That's not a sign of a good situation the game is in. You know, there was a, like, a special room up here. Library, perhaps? Oh god, now I'm lost. The Necronomicon. Devil card, Suicide King. I guess we'll keep the Devil card. I, I don't know where we are. We've been on this floor for a hundred years. The majority of challenges were fun! Oh god, I'm being hyperbolic. It's actually not... Like, most of the challenges were fine. It's just this ultra hard challenge that's kicking the <laughs> absolute shit out of me. We gotta deal with the, the devil? Ah! <gasps> with just like a 10% chance? Is this the dream? Has Edmund answered my prayers? Mm, guppy's paw. It works. Guppy's paw works. It- There's a way. There's a way. Ruka. Thank you for your support. Go outside where it's 30 degrees Celsius. Hello, Tomo. Would you like to come in? I'm closing the door. I'm closing the door. You, you may come in. So what's the secret now? If you lose a red heart, well, even more so, if you're about to die, turn your red hearts into spirit hearts, so at least you get more survivability out of it. Considering that we have to go to the fucking Mega Satan fight, like, I, I surely would not suggest that we are uh, dealing with a one run here. What we do have is a at least modest chance of becoming Guppy now. It would be... Oh, that was so dumb. It would be exceptional to get a deal with the devil on this floor. This is the mom floor. Um, so, in theory, I suppose, if we hated ourselves, we could go do boss rush. Amnesia. Well, that's one benefit of this, is that, you know, once you recognize that amnesia cards can't hurt you, life's a little better. The world card. Well, that's the flip side of that, isn't it? Immediately taken from a on high to a much less happy position. This is, I can already tell, oh yeah, that makes sense. Why would you bounce off the wall when you can just float off into the ether? Um, I can already tell this is gonna be a parody rich episode. Boss Rush still theoretically plausible. But actually, you know what? I don't think it is. Uh, not just from a, like, can we find the boss fight in time standpoint, but more from like a, can we beat two bosses fast enough to even get in, even if this next room was the boss room? And I think the answer is no, quite frankly. We don't have any any cheap tricks to beat um, to beat Mom quickly, like, you know, using a cube of meat or something like that. And as much as I'd like to make those happen, I'm not a conjurer of cheap tricks! <laughs> oh, you guys didn't know? Yeah, I'm a big fan of the Lord of the Rings movies. I actually have not seen them in, like, 12 years. But I do remember Gandalf saying, I am not a conjurer of cheap tricks very uh, aggressively. It's like, whoa, dude, calm down. You know? You should have known before you go to wizard school, people are going to ask you to do magic tricks. You're a fucking wizard. Do you think David Blaine would have gotten where he is if he had that attitude? Probably fucking not, dude. Oh, the item room is right here. Scorpio. It's not that good. It's not that bad, but it's not that good. 
I'm not a conjurer of cheap trick, ladies and gentlemen. Cheap trick. Okay, good, 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 good. Oh, 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 there it is, there it is, sun card. <sighs> the dream, okay. Where are we? This room is a fucking dream come true. At least we don't have to shoot any enemies on it. That was like my favorite room of all time. Oh my lord, wait, 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 there's a... What? Where are we? Yeah, sure, bomb and a key. I don't know what I'm looking for here. Two bombs and one key. You know what? I overcomplicated that in my head, and you provided me with an easy answer. For that, I will be forever grateful. Now, there is a 15 cent item on our shop. We're not going to get enough money to be able to pick it up. That's hilarious. No, we got enough money to pick it up. Less hilarious now. Because now I have to, like, walk back. It might be a shit item. But either way, we got to go for it. Which means it's going to be another 182 years before I finish this freaking floor. We're on the... Dad, this one doesn't even need a parody. We're on the road to nowhere. Come on inside. You're good. Deja vu a little bit. Just... Oh, I don't know if we've seen this room. It's a, what a concept. Ace of hearts. So we could turn all of our consumables into nothing. So that's a pretty valuable card on a game like this. That's not me being salty. That's just me being droll. And perhaps even at least finding an avenue, an avenue to express my discontent at my maladroitness. Having a really good time so far. Having a good... You know what? No. I'm not going to pick up the... You've done it. Are you happy? We could have had a fun time. Picked up an item that already was going to be 15 cents and I don't even know what it is. But I was prepared. Instead, you've made it impossible to walk to where you want it. To where I want to be, I should say. So, as a result, no. You can keep your fucking item, okay? See if I give a shit. Joke's on you. I was only pretending. Yeah, okay. Okay. Mom's coin purse. An all-time classic item. Two tiers downgrades and a paralysis pill. Alright. Pretty much, pretty much par for the course. What else would you expect on a run like this right now? So, by my math, we only need about 14 hits. Yeah. Without getting hit once ourselves. Uh, okay, there you go. Well, I suppose we should have popped, uh... Well, we shouldn't have popped the Guppy's Paw there. But either way, we should have popped Guppy's Paw earlier to protect the deal with the Devil Chance, which now sits at 0.5%. I want I want you to know that I'm a big fan of the Ultra Hard Challenge. I'm, uh, Northern Lion. Kids today have it too easy. Isaac's so easy. People, oh, what's the big deal? I just booted up the game for the first time. 75 win streak. You tired of people getting something for nothing? Here's the Ultra Hard Challenge. It's a challenge for you. It's a challenge that's lots of fun. Um, what's the most fun things about Isaac? Uh, items. No, sorry, you're wrong. Um, I don't know. Coming back from the brink to have an amazing run that succeeds against all odds. That's where you're wrong, buddy. Um... I don't know. Losing? Yep, there you go. Losing. It distills all the fun of losing into a nice compact package. Uh, ensures you never get above your station or really give yourself that much self-confidence. So that's uh, it's a positive thing. It's a positive thing. The Polaroid it's a positive thing. Down to the next floor. Here we go. All right. I'm ready. Let's do it. We live through another floor. Very stoked. Very extremely excited to be down on a floor that's going to deal double damage. I am Northern Lion, and I approve this message. Oh. Three question marks. Man, that'd be really bad if we weren't already afflicted with about nine question marks per floor. I can't believe this has happened so many times in a row. Fuck it, give me the amnesia pill, dude. 3.22 damage. Stop it. Get some help. This is ridiculous. Guppy's head! They've done it! We may lose Guppy's I mean, I'm only keeping Guppy's head for now because it's better. When we leave this floor, we should walk back around and make sure that we get uh, Guppy's paw. Even if we become Guppy, 
It's very easy to lose this run. We have 3.22 damage. It's like less damage than we started with. Well, yeah, you did get one damage downgrade. I got- you got it! I got one damage downgrade across six floors. And my damage is lower than when we started. What a feeling! An empty chest! Oh, man, 10 out of 10. Always puts a smile on my face. Let's keep it- we don't even have a double item room on this floor, and honestly, that's a huge positive, because that means I don't have to waste my fucking time with stupid shit. Like, why would I want to- oh, god. Get items! I'd rather just fight bosses. Accelerate the whole dying process. Using Guppy's Paw now inhibits our use of it later! Of course there's no spirit art there. I was like, we're a genius, we'll get a spirit art right here. No spirit art there. Of course there's no spirit art there. It's the ultra hard challenge. Oh, what's the dream there? It's pretty simple. Pretty simple, honestly. We have to get a deal with the devil. And then the deal with the devil has to give us Mom's Knife, Brimstone, uh, maybe Death's Touch, maybe a Guppy item. A combination thereof would be the best. I can already, you know, you can close the video because I know what's going to happen. We're going to make it there, you know. Probably give up all of our HP to have spirit hearts in the hopes of getting a deal with the devil, and it's gonna be a Krampus fight, or it's gonna be like three red chests. So, um, and the red chests are all gonna have bombs, because of course. Or actually, no, two of them will be empty, because it's the ultra hard challenge. So, um, it's been fun having you here. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you wanna see more in the future. Uh, I'll see you next time. For the rest of you sticking around, I appreciate it. In spite of the... In spite of my rage. 3.22 damage. 32 minutes into the run. How much damage you got? 10? 15? Uh, man, that's... 322, that's ridiculous. That would be like, you know, one of the best runs in history. Oh, yeah. Mm, just multiply it by 100. You got it, buddy. I'm excited. That pretty much sums it up right now, doesn't it? Second gate will continue to be a pain in the ass. Why did he start moving so fast? I do not respect or appreciate that. We've done it. Belly button. Thank God for Bible track. Just, uh, just a great item. Please, BBF. I need your support now more than ever. Who would have thought? BBF, take it back to like 30 minutes ago. Why are they so I took an I'm excited pill. I took the I'm excited pill. Not on this room, I took it on the last room. You telling me it makes enemies excited for the entirety of all human existence? Why have you forsaken me? Nope, nope, nope. Oh god, we lived. Well then. Oh no. Had to be done. We have to go back for Guppy's paw, and we have to pop it. We're so fucked, like, there's no point in even finishing this run at this point, because we're just gonna die. We missed our window, because of an I'm excited pill? I thought I'd taken all the bad pills in the game between, you know, amnesia, tears down, uh, the question mark pills, etc, etc, paralysis, apparently not. Big ups to this floor, really appreciate belly button plus a trinket that is useless, uh, combined with... The worst thing in the world, an excited mom's heart boss fight. You can't be a guppy item, but I respect you nonetheless. It's worth it. It's worth it. Rune bag into septuple algae's runes into the boss fight. No, there is there is a way. Where there's a will, there's a fucking whalebone, dude. We will find the seam. We will exploit the seam. And then we will become Sean Bean. Except of the immortal variety. I will overcome the challenge that... I never watched much anime. I wish I did right now. Because I feel like that's the exact perfect media reference that I want to have.
like, you cannot defeat me! I'm taking it to the limits! You know, and we need some Dragon Slayer Doppel. What is this? Do you feel good about yourself? Down to the cathedral, I suppose. Well, it's the most successful ultra hard challenge we've ever had. I, <laughs> I want to die. <laughs> oh, end this run. If you got a sack, Isaac, you'll fucking kill me on this floor. You fucking better, because if you let me get powerful, I will become more powerful than, to be honest with you, you could possibly imagine. And that's not going to be good for you, buddy. I promise you that. Uh, I mean, you know what? Saki Itsumi. We want permanent Polaroid invincibility. So there is an incentive to using Guppy's Paw right off the bat. Now, permanent Polaroid invincibility would be a little bit of an easier thing to be excited about if we had an orbital, poison damage, any form of contact damage, um, a way to benefit uh, in terms of getting like an item from our invincibility, uh, a way to exploit this invincibility in order to, you know, do things like maybe get more value out of a blood bank and then combine that with a trinket to get extra consumables, including red hearts. But, um, you know, for various myriad reasons, all of the normal ways that you could possibly leverage one resource to gain more in aggregate and in return with a not insignificant amount of risk applied to yourself on a personal level, uh, those don't exist anymore. So I'm very sorry about that. Instead, you will spend eight minutes... Killing a room that is a dead end. I want to look forward to something. And what I'm looking forward to is that when we go down to the next floor, this is the only thing keeping me going right now. When we go down to the next floor, we do not have to move except one room north. After going through 20 floors, not knowing where the fuck I'm supposed to be, it is no... Small prize to not have it's a secret room. It is no small prize To be able to just know exactly where we're going Just walking into the mega Satan room is going to give me a degree of satisfaction that to be honest with you I don't know if I've ever felt in my entire life. I Should very much desire this feeling. I wish to live on this floor and to to persevere No damage by the way is stupid damage at this point our damage stat is 3.22. Any damage we take is a result of the tedium brought on by taking 20 minutes to kill a fucking Mega Monstro 2, stupid idiot Cursed Eye. It gives me Cursed Eye one more fucking time. I'm gonna go absolutely fucking apeshit on that ass. Oh, HR Geiger looking piece of shit. Well, you know, always look on the fucking bright side of life. Cursed Eye at least probably raises our ability to kill an enemy when we enter a room. It's a small bit of respite, but it is not necessarily nothing. If only Yo Listen did 0.1 damage per tick times like 10 ticks an hour. Even that would have me feeling like at least there's something positive right now. And you know, we tried it out on the womb. No item rooms. Now we're going to try it out in the cathedral. No items in general. Oh, and that's not true. We did get Cursed Eye. Don't forget about Cursed Eye. Because I'm certain that next time we get hit, the game won't forget about Cursed Eye. So why should we forget about Cursed Eye? This challenge. Tell you what, it makes for some fucking engaging video content. Oh my lord. What, I mean, what can you do? I'm hidden at the fastest conceivable rate. Oh my, okay, that was a bad dodge, admittedly. Tap shots? Tap shots are where it's at? So we want this run to actually cause me, f oh, physical injury in real life now. That's where we're gonna, that's where we're gonna take this. There is a secret room. It is a second secret room. What good is a second secret room? You raise a fantastic question. Um, I don't know, but I don't care. Red chests that give us nine lives. A red chest that gives us nine lives. It might be the only thing that can save us now. I don't want to have to do this challenge again. I will. I will. 
but I don't want to have to. We've done it. A bomb, thank you. It's a bunch of bullshit. It's just a room that's devoid of anything except its own asshole. And its head is all the way up it. The good news is, we've entered a, an era where Cursed Eye doesn't matter, because if we get hit, we'll just die. So... All we need to do is beat Isaac on one of the worst runs that has ever lived this long. Thankfully, we got a Burkano rune. Uh, by the way, not just beat him on one of the worst runs we've ever had that has lived to the Cathedral, um, but also, of course, uh, do so without getting hit, because if we get hit, we die. Uh, even one time, and then beyond that, open four chests immediately after it, hoping for an item that can't even be in them, because we exclusively want, you know, a guppy item at this point. Uh, and it has to be one specific guppy item beyond that. And then, oh right, after that fight, you know, probably like the third hardest boss that exists in this game, and then beat him in all likelihood without getting hit either. So, uh, would I say that we have a tall order? No, that just sounds like another fucking Tuesday around the ultra hard household. There we go, we died. Thank you for releasing me from this mortal coil. If you'll excuse me, I'm going to go look at cat pictures on the internet. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode and my own descent into madness. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more in the future. And of course, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.